2015 was an uphill journey for Africa's economies, worsened by a slump in commodity prices and a strengthening dollar. As China faced a sharp fall in its markets, Africa's commodity exporters were hit hard. Because China is such an important player on world markets, especially in respect of the demand for commodities, the fact that it is slowing down and the demand for commodities is falling has resulted in commodity prices themselves declining sharply. And this has resulted in the currencies of countries that are heavily dependent upon exporting commodities to suffer. But some countries emerged stronger in 2015. Somalia, a country recovering from more than two decades of civil war, made significant progress, focusing on stability and growth. According to the UNDP, uh, about 73% of the Somali population lives below the poverty line of $2 a day. That said, economic conditions have recovered significantly since the end of the civil war. And in particular, in 2014, GDP is estimated to have grown by about 4%. Inflation remained low at about 1%. In Burundi, the nation's alien economy weighed heavily on the population as protests and political uncertainty intensified following President Pierre Nkurunziza's decision to run for a third term. I am not making any money. I hardly make enough money to eat. I used to sell cases of beer, but now I am lucky if I sell even one. It's over, and there are no customers. Tanzania, which is one of the fastest growing and stable economies in East Africa, is facing growing public frustration with the pace of change in a country endowed with gas and mineral deposits, but lagging behind other regional economies. We have families, we have children, wives, we have people we are taking to school and our parents in the countryside depend on us because we live in the city like other successful people. I think we are very key shareholders in this country, especially youths who make up the biggest percentage of the population. People here do not have jobs. We are tired of being told every day that jobs will be created. This has become a propaganda tool that politicians are using so that we can vote for them. Overall, growth in Africa is projected to pick up to 4.4% this year and further strengthen to 4.8% in 2017. The World Bank recommends that countries focus more on investment in new energy capacity, attention to drought and its effects on hydropower, reform of state-owned distribution companies and renewed focus on encouraging private investment will help build resiliency in the continent's power sector. Maria Galang, CCTV.